I do have another question on something you touched on earlier, which is around being willing to wait until the very end of the cycle of say like August or maybe even yeah. the first week of September where you get off the wait list last possible second and you start a program at your dream school. You're suggesting, yeah. what I gathered is that you're suggesting that applicants may want to still put down, seat deposit deadlines are now-ish, right? They're yeah. varying and they're extending them. Would you suggest that applicants be willing to put down a non-refundable seat deposit at risk of potentially losing that $500 or whatever it is and then wait out the summer, maybe they still get off the wait list somewhere else. Yes. <laughs> cool. Yes, I am suggesting that. Um, you know, again, this is a very important point to that. Make sure you read that enrollment form mm -hmm. um, and make sure you understand what you're committing to when you put that seat deposit down. Now, usually when you put that, when you, uh, when you complete that enrollment form, it has nothing to do with wait list, um, your, your status on the wait list. Basically, you're saying if it's a very strict one that you're not, um, you haven't put down a commitment at another school. Um, so that doesn't have anything to do with the wait list because you haven't put a commitment down in that situation. Um, but be careful of that. I, I can't overemphasize that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's all very, it's all very individual. It's all very personal to you. If it really is your dream school um, and you are willing to make the, um, and make those, you know, sacrifices. And I would say $500 is a small amount, you know, when you're, when you're thinking about three, a three year education and, you know, everything that you've dreamt it could be and everything it might be the potential of having that degree at the end of the day. Right, right. Of course. Yeah. And I would imagine but that. That's if very hard. I think that's very hard, you know, to move in August or September, but I've certainly seen it. Um, I've certainly seen it. And I don't, I don't think it's crazy. And you actually may not have to move at all if things are online in the fall. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.